From now on, I'm not taking any chances when I film. <laughs> G'day. Well, if it's good enough for Steven Spielberg and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, I figured it's good enough for Steve Mack. Now, I know most of you won't watch much of this, only a few of you will, but for those that do want to see it, here's a compilation that I originally did three years ago in three or four parts about the time I went up to Maroochydore on the Sunshine Coast, about an hour from where I live in Brisbane. Now three years on there are a few parts that technically I could have improved. I'll do my best to try and sharpen those up if I can because I have some of the original footage. But please tolerate any little aberrations in that video. Now since this is the director's cut, I've trimmed the beginning a bit uh, because I tended to waffle on a bit more than I probably should have. And I may have changed a few little aspects about the videos. So I'll start off by the very short little teaser I did just before I went up there. So in the meantime, please sit back and enjoy my little holiday. And goodness only knows I've been waiting to get up there again. I'm out of here. First impressions. There we go. First look around. Oh, okay. There we go. Got my old horn from when I was a kid. Let me have a look at that in a sec. Oh, spacious. What's this? <coughs> a locked room. Hmm. Oh, there's a key. Uh, yep. Door. Uh, oh, good. Oh, that's a nice, nice rear view here. That's quite good. Yeah, stayed at a few places around here early. Don't want to see the mirror there because I just don't. <laughs> I want you to. That yeah, seems alright. Let's have a look out in the balcony. Out in the balcony. Yeah. Not overly big, but it's alright. Not as bad as I thought it might be. There we go. Well, it's changed a bit. Uh, I used to come up here as a kid with mum. Long time ago. The Mercury Door's changed a bit. Kind of a little bit more in the corridor than I thought, but uh, that's okay. There's the caravan park. <laughs> Walked through there many times. Got need and rock out there. Okay, that'll do from the phone. Did bring a, a better camera with me, so that's what we can find out. Might be able to get a nice time lapse from there tonight. <laughs> okay, well, uh, by my reckoning, this camera on the gorilla pod is definitely moving by itself, which is quite a nice effect. But uh, I think you're about to see me lurch forward very, very quickly. Because the damn thing is heading towards uh, the point of unbalance. Anyway, I'm here on uh, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland at Merchville. And there we are panning off to uh, the right or left, I can't tell. And maybe I'm better off grabbing the camera like this. <laughs> to be honest. Anyway, that was an exercise in futility, wasn't it? <laughs> maybe you should stand up. Good idea. And okay, so, um, come up here. Needed to get away, and um, here we are. Uh, just a bit of stress lately. Um, well, actually, not lately. For a long time, and uh, adds up. As I'm sure we all know, 
and as a matter of fact, it doesn't just add up, it creeps up and uh, somewhere along the line we become aware of it. I'll try and get some time lapses. Just thought I'd mention though, uh, in case I don't get around to make another vlog. But uh, we're here, we made it, it's not far from home, it's about an hour and something north of Brisbane where I live. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of sandwiched in a little bit more than I would have liked, but it's okay. It's alright, in fact, um, down there is what I call the old part of Maruchidor that, um, that I used to come with mum many many years ago when I was a kid usually once a year and there were no high rises or anything back then so uh, yeah it's changed a bit the caravan park over the road there my father actually stayed in and that's another story dad stayed in there a uh, long time ago and um, we had a rendezvous with him like I said it's another story so yeah. Plus I like the little cinematic effect I did. You know, I love editing. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, give up doing videos? You're joking. I don't think so. Not by choice. Some people are keen on surfing. Be cold for me today. Agent slash manager today. Uh, have coffee. Here we are. Who, ironically, I went to see 30, 31 years ago, uh, and she was keen to get me on her books then. And she's still in the industry now. Okay. And uh, so she's in town. Uh, her business is in town. And I thought, well, good opportunity. She's been asking me for a long time to do that, so. Waiting for the sun to come out here uh, when there's a shadow. But once it once it does, do you see the sun starting to come out there? Once it does, we'll be right. Yes, it's the doors. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, that would be it. That would be it. I think she spotted me. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, Joan. <laughs> I got the makeup on. Mm. Come on in. Come into the palazzo. Very nice. Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Don't put it on your face. This is trust, when you mind the entire agency while the owner goes to buy you the coffee that she mentioned a long time ago. <laughs> it's also astoundingly different from when Mum and I used to come here. This used to all be sand, he'd walk through here, and now there's a restaurant here. Massive one. Just walk through. It's massive. This was all caravan park. Amazing. Waiting for the sun to come out here. Uh, when there's a shadow. Once it once it does, do you see the sun starting to come out there? Once it does, we'll be right. One of the 
squishy's car park so I've seen for a while. Since Auckland, probably. Massive, super cheap shop. I think it's one I've been to. Oh, enormous. Cool. That's where we used to walk to out there. None of this was here. Chilled around here. This was all over about once. It's also astoundingly different from when Mum and I used to come here. This used to all be sand, you'd walk through here. And now there's a restaurant here. A massive one. You just walk through, it's massive. This was all caravan part. Amazing. This is all changed from where it used to be. It's all been uh, totally changed actually. The flats I used to stay in as a kid were way over there and the water used to come right up to the edge. And now, I guess they've brought the water all the way forward. Not really. I think they filled it. And that's where Mum and I used to walk out to, way out there. Miles away. Even paddled a two man canoe by myself way up there. Now there you go. Now there's the cafe. How things change. But one thing we never had a dredge there at the time. Progress. This car. Heavily pregnant woman. That's the second heavily pregnant woman. that Mum and I stayed in still upright. God damn it. I couldn't believe that. Still upright changed a bit. And the rest of it's changed a lot. Definitely uh, driving through town just now has certainly changed a huge amount. But this area is still kind of the same. I used to holiday here all the time. Still very quiet compared to the rest of town though. I came here with mum probably about eight years ago. I have to see, uh, I'll include footage if, uh, if I took any and if I can even find what I took. Look at 
thing. Looks gross, whatever it is. I thought it might have been to contain algae or something, but hmm. I think it's something to do with the, the sewage that's coming out of here. Oh, yum yum. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a filter. Shit filter. <laughs> there, I've said it. If you know what it is, leave a comment below. <laughs> anyway, there we have it. There's uh, one place, my old stomping ground. There's a kid. I'll tell you something about that. Um, Dunedin, Dunedin Rock later too. It occurred to me yesterday. One that mum walked out to uh, when she was a kid. So that's a long time ago. She was 88 when she died. Before nearly, I think it was five years ago. I guess. So it was a good while ago. Haven't been able to find any way to get out there without a boat. Yeah, the little shithole I stayed in as a kid still here not for long by the looks of this came here at the right time looks like the little place won't be here long I'll pull it down and finally build up some apartments like the rest Horrors like everything else shortly. Such is progress. Old? Brand new? Older. Well, that's lunch over with. That uh, little house actually got a Super 8 movie film of um, when Dad came up to see Mum and I. And... Uh, out of the, what used to be an underhouse garage there. Just over there. There you go. And this is a very weird thing about where I'm staying. You have to use a key to get into the restaurant. And something else, it's a little bit funny. If I remember what was on yet. On the basis, you see a restaurant says there, man, mess. As it turns out, they're toilets for the restaurant. Games room happening here. And the sauna, which is where I'm heading for shortly. I don't know if you can see that too well, but a bit dark. It looks like that. So here's the sauna. <laughs> what have you done? Exploring the rooftop. Whoa. Have to come here during the day. There you go. Oh, got a nice view. But, um, hmm. the rooftop of the building. There's even a kitchen there. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to try and um, record this. With a pretty um, background. Um, what I was going to say about the Dunedin rock I mentioned, uh, I guess it kind of reminded me uh, how much I've more or less let myself go downhill since mum died. Um, for heading towards five years ago, I guess really thinking about it yesterday, when I was looking at the rock and remembering that, um, you know, <laughs> 
when mum was a girl she went there. I guess it uh, made me realise that when, even when she went into a nursing home, well, definitely when she died, um, yeah, I've put on a lot of weight and uh, I think a part of me died with her and uh, I, I gave up on a lot of things. Although there are things I only wish that she could know about. I know she'd be proud of me. She was always proud of me. And even when she was um, first in hospital after the first stroke, she said how proud Dad would have been of me. The way I looked after her. So, uh, yeah, I, I suppose it's been a bit of a, a reality, a bit of a, a thing. I hope this captures it. I'm just going to put this bit on as is. I hope I'm in frame. I'm not using the reverse screen thing because it's such crap resolution, so hopefully I won't be half cut off with the mouse again. Anyway, there's your rooftop view. Quite nice. Going off to dinner now and um, heading back to my home in Brisbane tomorrow. Maybe stop and see a friend on the way. Still got a few more people to catch up with. Okay, well thanks for joining me. This was never intended to be a vlog, but it's kind of worked out a bit that way so far. See ya. All the cafes around here closed at night. Sorry Doc, didn't get to catch up tonight. And looking for food in Marichador, which has always been the backwater. Closed, 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 closed. And it's 8.30 Saturday night. So as it turns out, it's Father's Day. Heading upwards, I'd say. Have to check out shortly. Keep on. What is here today? How about it now? Oh, you're heading up there? Yeah. Oh, Nothing here when uh, Dad took Mum and I around to see the very first building at Maroochydore, which was the Maroochydore Sands. Maroochy Sands. We'll change now. A beautiful day on the roof. Dad 
this is in memory of you and the fact that when you drove mum and I around here to see the first uh, high rise well it's changed a lot now so made in memory of you happy father's day buddy There's the people in the lift. Well, going back to the cafe at Cotton Tree, but um, whatever's on today, on Sunday, Father's Day, obviously we might not get a spot. Definitely something happening in Cotton Tree today. Lots and lots of people have abandoned the idea of having coffee. Just uh, having a walk in the park here, somewhere to eat, from the lullaby. It's a tree. It's kind of like a natural urinal. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Just having a look at Malulaba here. Over there is Underwater World, where Jackie Chan recorded his film First Strike many years ago. I was a background extra in there. Over there is what was Lisa and Grant Kenny Curry's house. They were quite well-known sports celebrities, Australians, back in the day. I think they've long since separated. It's quite an expensive area over on that island there. You can actually go for a canal tour, which is quite interesting. I've done that. Just on the way home to Brisbane now. Just stopped for a quick coffee on the way back. Traffic was a nightmare. Just standing here having a cigarette and spotted that. Who knows what that is? A shed snake skin. I'd say from a, a brown. Anyway, back on the final leg home, hopefully. Hope you've enjoyed following me on my little journey. Please leave any comments or questions below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see my next adventure. Cheers. This vlog is done. And there's a caddy cat! <laughs> so again, for those who have stuck by long enough to this point, 
I really appreciate you watching. Cheers.